that ad. <laughs> that was admit that uh, a lot of people don't even realize they I've called her, she hasn't responded. I've called her more than a few times. But the Zulu nation, I'm like, what the hell is this? I know nobody know what I'm talking about. You'll leave me on the island by myself. I don't know what the hell Bishop's talking about. Ooh, that's what y'all do. <laughs> then after class, yeah, I knew what you were talking about. I just don't want to be caught out there. The hell is this? Get on my damn nerves. Sorry. Why, hey, why is, hey, I got a question for y'all. For the, for the black man and the black woman that don't care about their community, why is it that the Lord has forsaken you? Why is it that we in the, in the slums and the ghettos and it looks like the Lord has forsaken us and turned our back on us. Why is that? Sister, you hear that question? My man, you heard that question? Why do you think the Lord has forsaken the black man today and the Hispanic man? Why are we in shambles and we down at the bottom of society? Why don't we care about our conditions? Why is that? Can you answer that? Can't nobody answer that. The black men don't care about their conditions. Bro. My man, did you hear what I said? Why is it that we down at the bottom of society? Why, why, why does it seem like the Lord is forsaking us? Come check this sign out real quick, bro. Right? I got, I got Look at this sign real quick. I got a piece of Look, why is it that the black man got every, he ain't never got time to stop to talk to his own people? Why is it that hatred is, is at alarming rate in our community? Why do we have drugs in our community? Why do we have alcoholism in our community? Right. All our old men that are supposed to be teaching the younger men and the older women that's supposed to be teaching the younger women not to be thoughts and hoes and not to be sleeping around right. and having baby mamas and baby daddies, they sitting on the corners drinking right. early as hell in the morning. Why is that? But some of us that got a little bit of uh, things together, we ain't saying a damn thing about it. That means you're condoning the, 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 the downstate, the destruction of our people. Why, don't, why doesn't none of these men understand and care about that? My man sitting right there on the crate. Why don't you care about that? Why don't you care that our people are the ones that are being abducted like crazy? Why don't you care that our children are being shot down in the streets with no justice? Why is it? Why, hey, my man's in the red. Why don't you care? Why don't you care that your people are at the bottom of society? You. The black man ain't got no answers. Right. He got no answers. Right. Anytime he want to answer for something, he goes to the damn black man on the pastor. Right. Go to Jeremiah chapter 5. Jeremiah 5, 5 and 19. These questions have been being asked since the beginning of time for our people. From captivity to captivity to captivity. But guess what? The answers is right here in the Bible. But nobody cares. Why is it that our young daughters come out here dressed however they want to dress? But the fathers don't care. That's because the fathers ain't in the life. The mothers don't care. Why is it that sisters come out half naked? And men don't say nothing about it. Read that. The book of Jeremiah, chapter 5, verse 19. And it shall come to pass, when you shall say, Wherefore doeth the Lord our God all these things unto us? The, the, what they're saying is, why is it that the Lord has us in captivity, in the slavery, while our backs being whipped, while we get the, uh, the, the worst jobs, while we looked at as niggas and not uh, men in society? Why do we have to march and say, I am a man? That's what they're asking. Read. Then shall I answer them, like as he has forsaken me and served strange gods. And that again. Like as you have forsaken me. So they said that they feel like they've been forsaken. That's the same way that the black man and Hispanic man look today. Our women walk around half naked. Our women don't even get dressed. Our women don't even, uh, uh, when they do get their hair done, they put blonde in it to be just like a damn white woman. Why is that, sis? Why do our people do that? Why do our people do that? Why is it that when we ask a question about the black woman putting blue contacts in her eyes, putting blonde hair in their hair, and we ask them, why are you trying to be like a white woman? They get upset. Our 
hair don't grow naturally blonde. Our eyes aren't blue. Why do we envy the other nations? Why is that? My man's right there. Sister, why is it that why is it that a majority of our children are being led astray today? Why? This, these are the questions we must be asking. Why is, why is it that right here, this is the watch this, my sister right here. Who is this right here? Why is it that our young children think that Jesus don't look nothing like them? They envy the white man. Why? But you're asking a though and they say, no, no, I know Jesus don't look black or white. I know you don't look white. But why your children think that? Sister, why you think? Don't nobody want to answer any questions pertaining to God. But guess what? They the first to say, I love God. If you love God, you will love your people. And you will understand that your people are in a destroyed state. The men are sitting out here drunk, drinking early. These are men that are supposed to be leading and being pillars in the community. Why they, why they don't care? What you think, sis? Why do you think that the elder woman, the elder man, why don't they care anymore? Why is the fight gone in y'all? Now you got young men standing up, they don't want to hear a damn thing about it. They say, listen, I'm going to serve my Jesus tomorrow. That's idol worship according to the Bible. Right. Right. There's no fight left in the black man. Right. The black man is walking with his tail between his legs. Yep. Like a damn little ass dog. There's no fight in you anymore. Read that from the top. Verse 19, and it shall come to pass when you shall say, Wherefore do the Lord our God all these things unto us? So y'all don't, y'all don't, y'all don't think that? Since you don't ever think that, why are we on the bottom of society? Why is it that we hate it everywhere we go? Why is it that we're being fed the, the garbage that we're being fed? Don't you know this is a right here? You don't own this is a You don't own this? The butcher shop and all that? So called, so called Jewish shit, right? That's an old thing. Guess what? You think he eats the stuff and feeds the stuff to his family that he feeds to y'all? Hey, I know! The swine. You got swine, you got shrimp, crab, lobster. All those things are abomination according to God. He don't feed it to his family because he knows that. But he feeds it to you. Why do we steady put up with things like this? We all say we love God, but we don't do nothing God say. God say we have to eat clean. Why do you think gout, diabetes, high blood pressure, obesity, all those things happen in our communities? Because we study coming raised butcher shop eating swine and, and defiled foods. We want to know why our ankles swell up. We can't walk. We got to wear compression socks. We got to go to all these types of uh, 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 clinics for help. We get amputated legs and arms. We got gout in all our knuckles. We can't even walk. We can't even type. We can't even do anything. You can't close your hand no more. All these things happen because we eat defiled food. The scripture saying, my sisters, the scripture saying, the, the, the prophets of old time, they saying, why does it seem like the Lord has forsaken us? Has the Lord forsaken so-called white people? Are they living good? They living good, right? What about Chinese people? I, now, I'm talking, about, I'm talking about people as a whole. Because, for example, you got black people, some black people living good, but as a whole, we at the bottom. You, there's no denying that. Chinese people, Arabian people, Japanese people, East Indian people, they living good, are they not? They're the ones that set up shops in our, in our community. Right. And, and, and sell us all the foul food. But the scripture saying, why does it seem like the Lord forsaken the black man today, the black woman? Why you think? One we don't stick with each I, other. I can hear you. We don't stick by each other. We don't stick with each other. The Bible said we're supposed to be sticking together. Right. We all we got. All we got. They not doing nothing for us. No, we got to stick together. They not doing a damn thing for us. Oh,
That's that it, we steadily uh, uh, being shot down in the street, gunned down with no justice. We steadily being sold to foul meats and to foul foods. Why is it that Whole Foods and all them good places in their neighborhood? Why we don't got a Whole Foods right here? Why we don't have a farmer's market right here? We have processed meats, processed foods. Those are the things that contribute to our poor health. Right. So the Bible saying, why is it that the Lord forsaken us? Read that. God, all these things are to us. Uh -huh. Then shall not answer them, like as you have forsaken me, right. and serve strange gods. Because we serve strange gods. What do you think about that, sis? Do you serve a strange God? What about you, sis? You don't? Who's this man right here? What about you? You ain't never seen that picture before. I've seen it, but I don't serve him. What about him? No. What about these right here? No. I don't serve. I serve an image. Which image? Spirit. Which image is it? None of them. Which image is it? The image that I have within me. Within you? Yes. Okay, I want to show you something. Because we all say we don't serve a strange God. But we actually do. In our ways, the way we, we the way we do things, our actions, that shows that we serve other gods. Because if you serve the God of this Bible, is a black man, right, right. according to the Bible. God, this is the King James Bible. It's a regular Holy Bible. It's the same Bible that all the churches use, but they don't explain what Christ and God looks like. In this Bible, Christ is depicted like somebody like this. Okay, so you were taught that Jesus was black, right? But if we worship, so you you agree that you don't worship this image. And you would much rather, and you do, worship a black God, right? Do you know what comes with worship of a black God? Watch this. Go to 1 Corinthians. Watch this. This is what comes with worshiping a black God. This is what we're supposed to be doing. Watch it. Read that. 1 Corinthians chapter 3. And verse 16. Know ye not that ye are the temple of God? So now, us, us, us people, God's people, we are God's temple. Read. And that the Spirit of God dwelleth in you. Uh -huh. If any man defile the temple of God. So now, it's saying the person in general. It's saying, it's saying it as a question. Don't you know that you the temple of God and God's Spirit is supposed to dwell in you? Is God pure? Is God pure? Is God pure, sis? Yes, right? So if God's spirit is supposed to be in us, we must be pure too. Or he's not dealing with us. Now I'm talking about this man here. Now watch this. Oh, see? You knew exactly what I was talking about. But check this out. You know what you know what uh what religion and what God allows that? This man right here. This man right here will tell you, come as you are, it don't matter. You can stay as you are. Jesus loves you in all things. That's not what the Bible says. It doesn't say that. Now, modern day Christianity says that. But that's what we follow. We go to church on Sunday. The Bible says, Saturday, if you follow this guy, that's the day you're supposed to worship him. But guess what? That's the Sabbath. Yeah, you're right. That's the Sabbath thing. But with this guy comes same-sex marriage, comes single-parent household, comes the father. Hold on, no, 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 I'm almost done. Don't go nowhere, sis. Don't go nowhere. Because, listen, if, if, if you feel some type of way about what the Bible is saying and what we saying, that means it was good just when you got to be here. Yeah, I got to go. Now check this out. I'm going to read one more. Don't, don't go nowhere. Don't go. You ain't got nowhere to go. You ain't got nowhere to go. Read that, keep reading. Verse 17, if any man defile the temple of God, him shall God destroy. So guess what, how can God destroy you by smoking? You can have lip cancer, throat cancer, you can have lung cancer, all types of diseases. Sit, my sister right here, you smoke cigarettes? No, but guess what, you did today. If she was smoking, you were smoking. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Go to the biggest, uh, uh, what, what the head? What's that? 13. 13. 13. Don't, hey, listen to this last one. Don't, don't, hey, this is for y'all. That's why we out here for the black and Hispanic woman and the man. 
to uplift us back to this glorious day we're supposed to be at. Right. Too far, too long. You've never seen men, young men standing around standing up in the community. When you see that, you're supposed to be glued. Like, damn, what they got going on over here? Right. You see what I mean? Listen to this before you go. 30. 30. Leviticus chapter 30, 13, verse 40. Verse 39. Then we shall look and behold, if the bright spots in the skin of the flesh be dark and white. It is a threat. What's this talking about is, is diseases. That's what it's talking about. Diseases. Watch this. He read. It is a threat to spot that grows in the skin. Verse 40. And the man who hair is fallen. 30, 30. 30, 30, 30. Verse 30. Leviticus chapter 13, verse 30. Then the priest shall see the plague, and behold, if it be a sight deeper than the skin, and there be in it. So now, it's talking about plagues and diseases. He's saying the priest is going to look upon the people. If there's a flag on this on, on somebody, watch this, read that. And there be in it a yellow thin hair. Colors, what, what, what's that talking about? It's saying yellow hair is, according to God, is a plant. Yellow hair. Yellow hair is, according to God, is a plant, according to God. Watch this, he's going to keep reading, right? Then the priest shall pronounce him unclean. Shall so pronounce him what? Unclean. Now when you are unclean, that means that you physically, your spirit, your temple, everything was unclean because of this type of plague. God is saying that people with yellow hair is unclean as you continue to read. Who on this earth grows yellow hair? White people grow yellow hair. Do black people grow yellow hair? So why we put yellow hair on it? What color is that? That's my hair color. That's your hair color? Yeah. Oh, see, here we go, here we go. Hey, so love God is to do everything that he says. Whether you like it or not. God is not partial to one person to the other. He's, if you do his commandments, he's for you. If you don't do his commandments, he's against you. Right. Either you down or you not. Right. That's what God says. Read it again. Leviticus chapter 13 and verse 30. Mm -hmm. Then a priest shall see the plague. And behold, if it be in sight deeper than the skin, and there be in it a yellow thin hair. Now, I don't know any black woman that grows yellow highlights in their hair. Right on. If your hair was yellow, it would be all over. Not highlight it in certain areas. Come on, sister. Come on now. We the only people that do that. You don't hey, you don't see white people with woolly hair in their head. Right. They not doing that. Because they don't envy us. They don't care to be like us. They have everything. They don't care for that. We the only people that, that want to be like them. Right. Why? Because we understand spiritually, we understand where we stand. We stand at the bottom of society. Right. It's only natural that we want to be on top. But God says what? Go to Proverbs 3. God says one thing. He said, don't envy those people. You better than those people. Nation is men leading by example. 